comparing the path in Red Hat, Fedora, Sousa, and Mandrake. We're currently in Red Hat Linux. While working as the CWEST user, which is a non-root user, I ran the command to output the path here. So I ran this command, and down below here, the path was output. Then I ran su to su to root, and I ran this command to output the path for the root user. The directory paths shown here for CWEST are commonly the default directory paths in the path for a non-root user. For example, the common default directories for non-root users are slash bin, which is here, and contains commands like cpls and mkdir. Also, usrbin, which is here, and this path contains the find, head, and info commands. This directory path here contains binary script and symlink files for the X window system, and this one here is used for binaries that are installed locally. All of these directory paths here are also in the path for the root user. The directory paths that the root user has over and above the paths for a non-root user are the ones that end in sbin, and sbin stands for superuser binaries. Here's slash sbin, which contains commands like fdisk halt and mkfs, usr slash sbin, which contains user del, user add, and group add, and similar commands, and usr local sbin, which is here, is used for super user binaries that are installed locally. Notice the bin directory here below the path of home C West. And also, here's the root directory, and there's a directory named bin below the home directory of the root user. The path for the Red Hat and Fedora distributions include a bin directory below the home directory of all users. The bin directory is in the path, but it's not created by default. You can easily create this directory below the home directory for a user, and then put executables in the directory that are specific to the user. For example, as the root user, you may decide to create a bin directory below slash root and put executables in it that you need to run, but other users should not be able to run, such as scripts that are used for your administrative tasks. You'll see the settings in the path variable for other distributions in a minute. Some of these other distributions have more directory paths in the path than the ones that you see here. You've just seen the directory paths that are in the path for the root user and non-root users for Red Hat Linux. The common default directories in the path are the same in Fedora Linux as those that you have just seen here in Red Hat Linux. Now we're in SUSE Linux Professional. These are the directory paths in the path for a non-root user, and these are the directory paths in the path for the root user. Except for this directory path here, all of the directory paths for a non-root user are also in the path for the root user. So in other words, all of this stuff here is also in here. This includes all of the common default directory paths for a non-root user, such as slash bin and slash usr slash bin. The directory paths that the root user has over and above the paths for a non-root user are these ones here that end in sbin. Notice that SUSE also has a bin directory below the path of home C West. In other words, there's a bin directory below the home directory of a user. And there is also a bin directory below the home directory of the root user. These directories don't need to be created because they already exist. As described earlier for Red Hat and Fedora, the bin directory below the home directory of a user can be used for executables that are specific to a user. For example, the root user may decide to put executables in this bin directory that only the root user needs to run, such as scripts that are used for administrative tasks. We are currently looking at SUSE Professional. The default common directory paths that are in the path for non-root users and the root user in SUSE Professional are also the same in SUSE Standard Server. So, as far as the default common directories in the path are concerned, SUSE Professional and SUSE Standard Server are virtually identical. Now we're in Mandrake Linux Official. These are the directory paths in the path for a non-root user. And these are the directory paths in the path for the root user. These directory paths here 
are the common default directory paths for a non-root user. Here's the bin directory, USR bin, USR local bin, USR X11 R6 bin, and all of these same directories are also in the path for the root user. The directory paths that the root user has over and above the paths for a non-root user are the ones that end in sbin. So here's slash sbin and slash usr sbin. And over here is slash usr local sbin. Notice that Mandrake also has a bin directory below home C west. This directory is in the path, but it's not created by default. It can be created and used for executables that are specific to a non-root user. Also notice that Mandrake doesn't have a bin directory below the home directory of the root user. However, this directory could be added to the path for the root user and then created to hold executables for the root user. The path settings for non-root users and the root user in Mandrake Linux are almost identical to the path settings in Red Hat and Fedora. The Mandrake distribution was originally derived from the Red Hat distribution, and so you'll see many similarities between Mandrake and Red Hat. After looking at all of these directory paths, you can see that the common default directory paths for non-root users and for the root users are the same in all of these distributions, and that some distributions have additional directory paths in the path. Keep in mind that you can use bash shell configuration files to modify the settings in the path on a user-by-user -user basis. In other words, you can use the bash shell configuration files to change the path for a user to whatever you require for the user. Well, that was a look at the directory paths in the path for Red Hat, Fedora, SUSE, and Mandrake.